Hi everyone, Habibi here. Welcome back to my tutorial series about how to make Unity multiplayer game using Photon Fusion. In this video, I'm going to start working on character and animation. Yeah, I have this skeleton character. It is skeleton 3D model and it is rigged automatically using Mixamo. You can use Mixamo and you can find so many tutorial videos about how to use Mixamo for your projects. Just find out online or find out on my channel how to do it. Here I have the skeleton walking animation and also idle animation and let me see how can I use them in this project let me open this player caps character prefab I'm going to import the skeleton here I'm going to place the skeleton here on on the player character capsule I will add this skeleton walk object here and of course I have to adjust the size and the scale of this 3D model to match the capsule I will resize it this way no, I need the idle one. This one. Okay, let me resize it this way and bring it down. Okay, it is nice and I don't want to see the capsule anymore so I will disable the mesh render of this capsule yeah it is another loading okay and I want to have uh, initial idle animation to be played for the character here so I will make uh, I will make an animation controller here animator animator controller skeleton anim, anim controller I will add it here and for the 3d model I select both of them and set the animations type on the rig top animation type I set them to be humanoid apply and let's edit the skeleton anim controller I will add an empty state I call it idle and here I will use this skeleton idle clip as the motion source and yeah let me check is it looping I need to set it to be looping and click apply so let me check this one the walking animation it has to be loop enabled loop enabled it should be looping mm, and then let me try to play the game I'm 
the skeleton. Let's play. What can we see here? Alright, here we go. We have this. I cannot see myself because camera is inside the skeleton. And let's go here. The animation is not playing, right? Let me check. The animator and the avatar should be this avatar. Okay. And apply the motion. I don't know, should I tick this checkbox or not? I don't think so. Ah. And the position of the skeleton should be lower. Okay, I will copy this Y position and go back here edit this prefab paste the y value and then don't forget to add the avatar to this animator and the camera camera the camera I don't know why the position of camera is here at the center of the of the character let me check the this clip player movement edit script and camera camera Person camera the target. I need to modify this this script. So I'm going to add an empty game object as a camera target transform. Here I add this empty game object. I name it camera position and I will place the camera here then on the player movement script I will add this public transform cam post and here campus I copy the campus and paste it here replacing the transform the existing transform then I have to set the reference for the campus to be this game object let me place it here okay what if I play the game now I need to see the camera position is it going to be placed correctly or not skeleton okay the camera position is good now the camera position is here but I cannot see the animation of the skeleton if I move the player I cannot see it playing 
I cannot see it moving. It doesn't play the and the movement animation. So I need to edit this character. The animator the animation controller. This is the idle animation. Then I will add another state. Here I will call it walking. Walking, and the animation shows should be this clip. And here on the parameters, I need uh, a boolean variable. Boolean parameter is walking. and then I need a transition between idle and walking here on this transition uncheck the has exit exit time and add this parameter and set it to true and this one uncheck the has exit time add the condition is walking and this one should be false and now I'm going to edit again the player movement script here I need to edit and uh, public animator name and go back to unit editor set the reference Here for the anim, we drag and drop the skeleton idle here. Let me rename it to character model. Okay, we have it here, and we need to check the movement. Fixed update network. I think it is here this part I need to edit it I will add this condition else here below the game object transform dot forward and want to move here I need to set the is working parameter to be true for the animation I type I name dot set pool is working I set it to true and else here I need to set it to false okay let me go back to the unity editor and I'm going to test the game start the game <coughs> nickname player one let's play okay let me place it here so I can see myself now I'm going to try I will try to walk press W button now the animation is being played the movement animation is very slow while the character movement is too fast so I think I need to reduce the character speed here the speed should be here play speed I think I will set it to 0 0.75 let me see okay 
the movement is good I think I know the placement of the camera is not really good I can see my skeleton head here but anyway that is the way how to add your character and animation inside this player object if you are working on unity uh, if you are working on the sample project from photon fuse photon and fuse yeah you know what i mean thank you for watching and see you next time on my next video bye bye